Yes, hello. My name is Klaus Zagaria. I'm a chairman here at the Department of Dermatology and Neurology in Copenhagen. I'm also a consultant in IPC. I've been asked to make a take 10, and I have chosen to talk a little about Ophrumilast. And uh, from my point of view, it might be a potential new first line systemic treatment for psoriasis. I have some disclosures which are listed here. You all know that we can easily treat psoriasis. It's, it's not that big, a big deal anymore with all the new biologics and systemics that we have. But we still have a lot of comorbidities that are very difficult to take care of. Some of them are hypertension, hyperlipidemia, overweight, metabolic syndrome, etc. And a lot of our patients also have lung uh, problems because they are heavy smokers. I would just start by presenting a case that we had at our department. One and a half a year ago, some of my residents came to me and we discussed the use of Rufrumilast. They were aware of that Rufrumilast watch actually used in, uh, for chronic obstetric pulmonary disease, but it had an anti-inflammatory potential. So we had this uh, 84, uh, 48 year old male who was just referred to our department. He had severe plaque psoriasis, with a PASI of 21, GLQI of 25, he was overweight, he had a moderate alcohol consumption, so we couldn't really use metotrexate. He had chronic obstetric pulmonary disease, he was a smoker. So we started him on, uh, on Roflumlast 500 micrograms daily. This is just a picture uh, from our last publication where we actually showed the follow-up on this patient. We have now followed him for one and a half year. And as you can see on, the, on this slide, from baseline with a PASI of 21 to now, he has reduced his PASI. It's, he's totally cleared. DLQR has also uh, been almost cleared as he has uh, dropped from 27 to one. He has lost some weight from a BMI of 28.4 to approximately 25, but now he has gained a little weight. But he's still very happy and has no side effects with taking Roflumlast. What is Roflumlast? It's a selective, long-acting inhibitor of phosphodiesterase, DSRS, just like a Premilast. It has been marketed in the US in 2011 as a first in class for treatment of severe chronic obstetric pulmonary disease. It has a favorable safety and tolerability profile and actually doesn't really require any blood monitoring. The cost of this drug is less than 7% of Apremilast in Denmark. It may address not only the skin, but also commonly seen comorbidities in patients with psoriasis, like chronic obstetric pulmonary disease, overweight, etc. Based on this, we actually have chosen to make a randomized controlled trial, which I will get back to you. This is just an overview of the story behind Roflumilast. In 2015, there was a PhD where they actually compared Apremilast and Roflumilast in different assays. In, two, in July 2020, a New England uh, Journal publication showed in a phase two trial of Roflumilast cream. Just recently, in September 2022, the phase three trials of this cream was published. And the cream has actually been marketed and FDA approved in the US. We planned this multicenter randomized control trial and had our first patient first visit in January 21. And actually, we do have our last patient last visit in a couple of weeks. This just shows the, an overview of the 
randomized control trial. It's 20 patients in each arm, and it's split in one-to-one -one with placebo. And after 12 weeks, the patients who had, uh, had placebo will get actual treatment. And then the patients are followed until week 24. This is a little of the background information that we have. There was actually a case in American Journal of uh, Therapeutics in, I think it was in 2017, where they actually showed that a lung patient with psoriasis could be treated with this Ruflumilast. The Ruflumilast cream has just been launched. And it's called, I think, Sarruv or something like that, and is available in the States. It has some efficacy, and it's always nice uh, for dermatologists to have something else uh, instead of uh, topical corticosteroids. But the efficacy is still not at the best. This slide just shows you that the results from the PhD study in 2015. What could be seen here is that the Ruflumilast actually has a 20 to 90 fold more uh, potent efficacy than a Primilast in these studies. Over the last year, we have tried Ruflumilast in different chronic inflammatory diseases like heterosatinitis superactiva, in uh, Betcher's disease, where the main problem was idiopathic after ulcers. Or we also had another patient with normal dermatitis who had been on three or four systemics before this. And it has all been successful. I hope that this small presentation can encourage you to try to use Oflumilans in your psoriasis patients. Thank you. That's all.